We plead the promise of thy word, attend our prayers, Lord. If earthly parents hear their children when they cry, if them with love so sincere, the children's want so much more will thou thy love display as you answer us. A heavenly Father, thou art great, great and gracious art. We children of thy grace come before the throne of grace. We plead for answers, descend and hear us now. We unite with one accord, Lord, and seek thy humble praise we plead the blood of jesus over every of our needs we plead the blood of jesus attend the humble cry O thou thy prayer at an humble cry let thy blessings from on high descend on thy children yes grant us answers speedily that we may adore you Like stanza two, it says, If earthly parents hear thy children when they cry, if they with love so sincere, their children want supply, much more without the love they split as thou hear our prayer. We come before his throne of grace and continue to make supplications to him on behalf of our nation for the security there in the economy, the good people. We continue to make supplications for Israel, the Middle East, for Ukraine, Yemen again now. All over the world where there is strife, where there is hunger, where there is disharmony, where the boys and the girls are suffering, we will continue to intercede. And so we make a continual plea to him, the God that answered prayers, the God that hears, and we say to him, be all the praise, to him be all the honor. If you have not yet joined the list of those interceding, we urge you to please do so. Second Chronicles 7.14 says that if my people, God speaking, who will humble themselves, cry and pray, he said he will hear. So where, where there is prayers, intercession, there is a God to answer. So let's not be tired. Let's not give up praying. Thank you so very much for joining me. <laughs> we will not be tired, we will not be weary, we will not give up. 
My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Overseer, Band of Love Ministries International. Thank you so very much. If you are praying, thank you. If you are not praying, thank you for joining, for catching up. And if you are praying, don't be tired, don't be weary. God will indeed hear us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Overseer, Band of Love Ministries International. It is a great honor and a very great privilege for me to come speak to you this afternoon again or whatever time this clip meets you. Are you out there and you are tired, weary, frustrated? You hear the news and you are at your wit's end. You are saying there is a way out. And the way out is when we go to our maker in prayers. Heaven is very far away. The scientists have gone light miles into space, but they are yet and will never be able to get to the abode of God. But us, as we need to pray, as we bow to pray, as we pray in our hearts, we get an automatic ticket to heaven where there is a God that is out there listening and hearing us. So we say here, don't be tired, don't be weary. And are you out there, you don't even know the way forward? We are here to say to you that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Other ways we fail you, but in Christ Jesus, we are very, very sure, very, very sure of answers. Thank you so very much. God bless you. And are you out there, you don't know him? Then, of course, you don't understand what we are talking about. Because how do you call a God you don't know? Therefore, it is my honor and my privilege to introduce to you Christ Jesus, the burden bearer. Matthew eleven twenty eight says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy landed, and I will give you rest. He is ready to give you rest and to give me rest. Thank you so very much. What do you do? Very simple. All you need to do is just to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. You may need to say that that's all your sins are forgiven. And you have access to God's riches. You begin to enjoy God's riches at Christ's expense. The truth of the matter is that the simplicity of how we become born again, how we begin to enjoy God's riches at Christ's expense, make a lot of people not to want to accept. It's like, for all of my sins, how can it be this simple? Well, it is this simple because Christ himself has already paid the price. At Christmas, we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Well, at Easter, we celebrate his death. We celebrate how he went to the cross on behalf of you and me. He suffered, he was beaten, he was scourged, he was laughed at, he was mocked. He had already paid the price. All we now do is just to be a particular of it. That is why it is that simple. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Once you say that prayer, that's all your sins are forgiven. Get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. The Bible is not obsolete. It is God's word to you. As you get acquainted with the Bible, you get to know the voice of God. And as you listen, as you heed, as you be a doer of the word and not a hearer only, your life will never, never, can never, never remain the same again. Thank you so very much. Do go to YouTube. On YouTube, if you type the name Edith Atake, our account will pop up or Church on the Air, Band of Rock Mysteries International. We have there over a thousand videos loaded for you. We are on the 2,000 video clips. There are words that inspire, that make meaning, that give courage, that give hope. Go like, share, subscribe. God bless you so very much. On Facebook, by the special grace of God, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures, nation building, ministers of the truth. When you pray and I pray, there is a God indeed to answer. Like, share, subscribe. Listen to the word. Listen to the word. John 10, 10 says that the thief cometh not but to seek, to kill, and to destroy. But our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ have come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. In Christ Jesus, we have all that we want. The peace, the joy, the blessings, the 
God bless you as you stay connected.